guys, welcome back to Live Your Style. I'm Shara, and today I have amazing news. Because Graphic Stock is sponsoring this video, Tyler agreed to finally help me organize and clean out the garage. Remember the last video I posted when I was like, hey babe, you wanna help me clean the garage? And he was like, hey babe, you wanna get it sponsored and then I'll do it? I kinda wanna do a garage video, not because a lot of people probably wanna watch that, but just because I really need to organize our garage. Get it sponsored! Well, Graphic Stock came through and they are amazing. They have the largest unlimited gallery of different graphics, vectors, uh, downloadable photos, illustrations. I think about 350,000 different images. And they're all royalty free, so you can't get in trouble if you use those photos on anything of your choosing. Now, if you guys would like to check out graphicstock.com, I will be sure to link that below. And I have even better news. They're giving everyone seven free days of Graphic Stock to check it out, see what it's like, download what you want for free. So why not go check them out? Okay, need to give you another quick announcement. Remember in our vlog from uh, 4th of July, the fireworks one? Well, we had an amazing view of fireworks because our neighbors tore their house down, uh, which huge plus side, we got to see fireworks from our bed. It was pretty cool. The giant downside is there's a lot of construction next door and it's very loud. So if you hear a lot of hammering or a lot of metal clashing or maybe a saw going off, just know it's the cool neighbors next door who tore their house down, who gave us a great view for 4th of July. Now let's get into this garage video, ready? Welcome to our new garage. I'm not gonna try to lie to you and tell you that this was not a big project because this was a very big project. In fact, it was a twofer. It was a two day extravaganza of absolute cleaning and organizing and just nerding out on getting this place in tip top shape. And it was kind of fun, I have to say. But it was a lot of work, so just, you know, just so you know. So we wanna give you guys 12 amazing tips that we learned on how to organize, clean out, and efficiently be able to live and work in your garage. Cause that's really, really important. Or at least know where things are in your garage. So grab your phone or your tablet or whatever you're watching this on, hopefully something that's movable. Go to your garage and do this with me. Or at least go stand in your garage and look around and maybe you can like, I don't know, get some inspiration to get started. So first things first, we took everything out of this garage. This is probably the most intimidating step, just getting started because you stare at all your stuff and you just get really easily overwhelmed. But just know there is a light at the end of the tunnel. You take everything out of your garage and in order to help you with further steps, be sure to place those items in somewhat of an organized fashion. So don't just dump it all in one space. Put all the like items together. That way, when you start to go through stuff and organize, you've got all your Christmas decorations in one spot, you've got all your toys in the other, you know. Yes, this took a really long time, but let me tell you, seeing an empty garage is really, really inspiring. Step number two, get a wide push broom and sweep your garage. You wanna start with a clean slate, so what's best is if you just get all the dust, all the cobwebs, all the grossness, sweep it out and start with a clean slate. Okay, number three, you want to sort all of your items. So this is when you go through everything and you identify the different piles. You have your yes pile, you wanna keep it. You have your no pile, you wanna get rid of it, trash it, donate it. You just don't need it anymore. And then maybe your maybe pile that you maybe kind of sort of should get rid of, but you're not quite sure and you need someone to really tell you to do that. Put in the maybe pile. You don't have to get rid of it just yet, but at least you have it out of your yes pile. That's the important thing. As many of you guys saw in our garage vlog that we uploaded a couple days ago, that's more of like the fun personal side of what we did. Not as many tips, but a lot more of like behind the scenes of what happened during the day. You guys saw that steps one through three pretty much took us all of the first day. We thankfully gave away and got rid of enough stuff that it did not take us long. We loaded everything back up in the garage overnight. And then we started with a lot less overwhelming clutter. We knew exactly where it needed to go and we got to planning and actually organizing day two and that helped us manage everything that we were trying to do and not get so overwhelmed. So I recommend that. So we kicked off day number two with step number four, which is don't just store it, use it. So I have a couple different old pieces of furniture that I did not want to get rid of that I've just been storing, but instead of just stacking those old pieces of furniture, we use them as organizational aids. Not only does this save you money, but it actually saves you space and helps you prolong some of these nice furniture pieces to use in your home when you move into a bigger spot which is what we're planning on doing. Thank you for the chainsaw, sir. Step number five, make a floor plan and actually plan out the space before you bring everything back in. 
This is important to sit down and identify what your goals are for the space. If you wanna park a car in the garage, it's gonna change things for you. For us, we kind of identified three different stations. We have our workstation, we have our easily accessible station, and then we have our storage station, things that we don't really need access to all the time, put it in the back. Side note, this work table, workbench, was up against the wall. I had no idea it was here until we took everything out of our garage and I was like, what is that, a ping pong table? No, it's a work table, a workbench. How awesome is that? So you'll be seeing a lot more videos from this space. Number six, consolidate like items when you go to put them back. So when you're putting them in a organizational aid of some sort, make sure you put things that go together, together. So if you're bringing cleaning supplies, put your paper towels there. If you're doing your tools, put all of your tools together in one area. That way when you come back to use the space, you think, oh, where are the scissors? Oh, they're in the tool section. If you put them just in random places, you're never gonna remember where stuff is. For me, a really important thing is all my DIY supplies, all my craft tools, all of that is in one unit. I didn't spread it around, I kept it together. Number seven. You totally moved from your mark. All the way out here? Am I in focus? It's like when I do dishes, you always ask me if I use soap. When we're filming, is it in focus? Sometimes it's not, and sometimes you don't use soap. I hate to tell the world that, but he doesn't. I use soap, it's just oh, soap. You, you want me to put new soap on it every time? I want you to put new soap on it when it needs it. If there's like the remaining old suds that are like barely even soap anymore, it's just suds, he thinks that's still soap. And he'll wash a greasy pan with suds. You brought it up. Number seven, use the walls. So in a space that's small, I always say, no matter what room it is, use your walls. Over here, we decided to put up three shelves. Tyler did these himself, so proud. And we stored buckets, bins, right on top of them. In these bins, since they're open, we are not putting things that are really delicate or meaningful or sensitive to spiders or dirt. I put things like electrical cords or spray paint or things that I don't want to have out on the shelves because it doesn't make it look very good. Even if it's your garage, you want it to look nice. There's even this. My bridesmaid Jenna made this for us. Isn't that so cute? Speaking of wedding, do you guys know our wedding video has almost like, what, 500,000 views? So many people love our wedding video almost as much as I do. It makes me so happy. Okay, moving on. Not only do we have shelves, but we also are using things like pull-out bins that have Lots of yarn. In case I ever want to learn how to knit. I have a lot of yarn. Just kidding, I use this for other DIYs. Number eight, keep your bulky stuff and your seasonal stuff in the back hard to reach areas. Places you do not need to access very often. Like for example, Tyler's spare tire. Don't know why that's in here. Or old headboards. Or maybe some Christmas decorations. Things that we really don't need to see. Now I know not everyone is going to put up curtains in their garage, but I can't help it. I'm still Robeson deep down. I wanted to create a fake wall to cover all of the crap that's back there. It's perfectly organized, it's just in boxes that are not that pretty, and it's kind of just like more of our junk stuff. Also, I'm gonna be filming in here, so I kind of wanted a nice little white backdrop. Do you know what I mean? And these are cheap IKEA curtains. I didn't go and buy new curtains. They're curtains I've had since college, so why not use them? Number nine, use clear bins to store stuff. That way you can easily see what's in them in case you do need to get into them. I have my decor, I have some old memorabilia, I've got my Christmas decorations. I know where everything is because I can see it without even having to open it. All right, let's go. Number 10. Put an inexpensive old outdoor rug in your garage to add that extra homey touch. So the puppy can lay down, you can be barefoot. I feel like your garage is a fun place to hang out, right? Number 11. Store the items that you use frequently closest to the garage door. That way you can access them really easily. Number 12, light it up all on one switch. Not only are lights functional, obviously, but it's an extra way for you to add an extra touch of hominess to your garage. Does anyone remember these? I've saved them all these years and I'm using them in my garage. I mean, what better light to use than a solo cup light fixture? Do you know what I mean? Okay guys, that is all I have for you today. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this video of how to clean and organize your garage. Hopefully we were some source of inspiration for you. 
And if you guys haven't seen the vlog version of this video, you wanna go and check that out. It's really fun. It has a lot of the fun, exciting stuff in it that we could not fit into this video. And it's a lot quieter in the background because there was no construction going on on the weekend. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to show you guys a bunch of new DIYs I'm working on in this lovely, comfortable, beautiful, organized space. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thumbs up the video, leave your comments below and tell me some spaces you'd love to see me give some inspiration for and maybe I will film that video in a couple of weeks or a couple of days. Keep on watching the vlogs. We're so happy and excited to be making them. I hope you guys are enjoying seeing that part of our lives as well. So I'll see you next time.